Okay, so to start our jasmine stitch, we're going to start off with a slip knot. Then we're going to chain up one. And we're going to be doing a foundation row of puff stitches. So we're going to draw up our loop about an inch or so, yarn over, go back down into that first chain that we made, yarn over and bring up a loop. And we're going to bring that loop up to the same height as our first one. Yarn over, go back down into that chain, yarn over, bring up a loop again to the same height. Then one more time, yarn over, back down into that chain, yarn over, bring up your loop to the same height. Then we're going to hold the bottom of our working yarn, yarn over, and pull that through all the loops on our hook. Keep hold of this little loop here, and we're going to pop our hook in, yarn over, put up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two. And we're just going to repeat that all the way down. For our next puff stitch, we're going to pull up our loop, just like before, yarn over, and we're going to go into this little gap here. So just below the single crochet, pop our hook in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go in, yarn over, and pull up a loop. So we do that three times in total. We're going to grab the bottom of our working yarn, as well as the bottom of our stitch, just pinch that together, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, pop your hook into that little loop that we were holding, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And you're just going to repeat that for as many puff stitches as you need for your blanket. For a baby blanket, you're going to continue making them until you reach 36 inches in length. Before we go any further, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to get notified every time I upload. So I'll do one more for you. We're going to just pull up our chain by pulling our hook, yarn over, go into that little space between our single crochet and the puff stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull it to the same length as the previous one, yarn over, into that same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, same height as the previous, yarn over, into that space, yarn over, pull up a loop, same height as the previous. So you've got seven loops on your hook, hold the bottom of your working yarn, yarn over, pull through, pop your hook into that little space that we've created with the loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm just going to complete this until I have six puff stitches in total. Okay, so I've now got my six puff stitches and our next stitch that we're going to do is another puff stitch, but it's going to be our turning puff stitch. So we're going to do the same as before. We're just going to pull up our loop, yarn over into that space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, in, yarn over, pull up a loop, hold our yarn, pull through, pop our hook in, and yarn over through two. And this will be our turning puff, so it'll be like this. We're then going to start making our petals. So we're going to pull up our yarn, just like before, yarn over, and we're going to go back down into that space like we would with the foundation row. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, down into it, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, down into it, yarn over, pull up a loop. So three times in total, seven loops on your hook. This time we're not going to yarn over, we're going to go into the next one along. So this one here, yarn over, go into there and do the same. So yarn over, pull up a loop three times, two and three. Then we're going to go come across to the next one. We're going to yarn over, go into the next one and do that three times. One, two and three. And we should have 19 loops on our hook. What we're going to do is use our middle finger, push down on that working yarn, grab the working yarn with our hook and face it downwards. And we're going to go through all 19 loops on our hook and keep your finger in this little loop here so we have that to go back into. Then what I like to do is take my finger out of there. I'm going to pull lightly up on my hook to make that a bit tighter. And then I'm going to pop my hook into that loop that we created and then pull this working yarn a little bit tighter just so we get those middles a little bit smaller. Yarn over and we're going to slip stitch 
through the loop on our hook. And that will be the centre of one of our flowers. To start on the next one, we're going to pull up our yarn on from our hook, yarn over, go back down into that centre and create our puff. So yarn over three times. One, two, and three. Then we're going to go into the next one available. So we've got a puff here. We've got our next little gap here. So we're going to go into there, yarn over, and do that three times. One, two, and three. Then we're going to go into the next one available. So we've got our puff, then the next space, yarn over, go into there and do that three times. One, two, and three. We should have 19 loops on our hook and you can see your petal one, petal two, petal three. Then we're going to pop our finger on the yarn, our middle finger. We're going to yarn over above our finger and face our hook downwards, so it's pointing down, and then pull through all of those loops on our hook. So we're going to make sure we release the tension a little bit on here so we're not holding it tight so it just glides through nicely. Take your finger out and then you're going to pull up on your hook a little bit like this. So we can still see that little loop there and you're going to pop our hook back in there, pull on your working yarn to tighten it up, then yarn over and slip stitch through. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way to the end and I'll show you what to do when we get to the end part here. Okay, so I've completed that all the way across and I've now come to my last little puff stitch here. So we're going to do the same, pull up our loop, yarn over, go back down into that space that we just created, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop. Then we're going to go back down into the next space available. So we've got a puff stitch, then a space, that's where we're going into. Yarn over three times, one, two, Three. And then for the last part of our petals, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into that chain one space that we made at the very beginning of our work and create our last petal. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. So that's three times. Grab our working yarn at the bottom, grab it with our hook and yarn over, point downwards and pull through all 19 loops on our hook. Then we're just going to pull up our loop so we get that little loop that we made smaller. Pop our hook in. Then we're going to tighten up this part here by pulling the working yarn. Then we're going to yarn over, pull through and pull through. And that is your first row complete. For the next row, we're going to pull up on our loop and we're going to turn our work. We're then going to yarn over and we're going to create our first turning puff. So back down into that space, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's one. Yarn over, down into the space, pull up a loop, that's two. Yarn over, down into the space, pull up a loop, that's three. And we should have seven loops on our hook. Hold that bottom part of our yarn, pull through. And then we're going to complete it like we did with our foundation. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And this is the repeat row. So you're just going to keep repeating this row over and over again until you get to the length that you like. So we're going to pull up our yarn, yarn over and go back down into that space. Yarn over, pull up a loop up to the same height as the previous one. Yarn over, down into the loop, yarn over, pull up a loop up to the same height as well. One more time, into the loop, yarn over, pull up. 
to the same height and this time we're going to instead of continuing like this we're going to continue down to create our three petals so yarn over one puff stitch here we're going into the bottom there yarn over pull up a loop yarn over yarn over pull up a loop yarn over into the space yarn over pull up a loop and then we're going to go into our next one so we've got a space we've got our puff space there we're going to go into the space between the next two puff stitches so yarn over into that space there yarn over pull up a loop yarn over down into the space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over down into the space yarn over and pull up a loop and make sure you're pulling them up to the same height every time then i'm going to grab my middle finger pop it down yarn over hook facing down pull through all of those loops on our hook so all 19 and remember to leave this quite loose so it's easier to pull through then we're going to take our finger out we've got that little loop that we were holding on to and that's when we're going to pull up our hook and tighten that a little bit pop it back in there this is still quite loose so we pull the working yarn tight then we're going to slip stitch so we yarn over pull through that one and pull through the one on our hook and then we just continue working as we did in row one so pull up working into here into here into here and then yarning over through all 19 and that is how you repeat this all the way up to the length that you'd like it to be i'm just going to continue working the, to the end of this row and i will show you what to do here okay so now at the end of this row we've got one more load of petals to do so we're going to pull up our loop yarn over go back down into that space create our puff stitch two and three then we're going to go into the next one one two and three so right at the end of this row there's one more puff stitch left we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the space just after that puff stitch so between this one and this one and create our last puff one two and three then complete as usual and that is the repeat row so you just repeat the second row that we did all the way until you get to the length that you would like it to be and I will pop in the description below a link to my blog post which tells you how many puffs to create for each size blanket. And I will also tell you how many rows to complete for that blanket as well. And that is how you complete this stitch. So if you've liked this tutorial, try giving this one here a go. And like, share, subscribe and all that lovely stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.